In this video, you'll see how to simplify your infrastructure management using AWS CloudFormation. AWS CloudFormation is a service that allows you to create and manage a collection of Amazon Web Services resources based on a template. AWS CloudFormation enables orderly and predictable provisioning and updating of resources, as well as version control of your infrastructure. AWS CloudFormation allows you to model the resources you need for an application or solution in a text file formatted in JSON or YAML. This template, which you can upload manually or retrieve from an S3 bucket, defines the collection of resources as a single unit called a stack. CloudFormation translates the template's parameters into API calls and creates the stack. It then provisions the stack's resources as a running environment. You can create, update, and delete stacks by using the AWS CloudFormation console, AWS API, or AWS Command Line Interface, or CLI. To get started with CloudFormation, let's navigate to the Stacks screen. Here you can see a list of stacks currently running in this region and the status of each one. You can view the stacks deployed in different regions by using the Region Selection menu. To find stacks faster, you can use the search bar to filter by stack name or keywords. You can also filter by status. For example, this view shows all your deleted stacks. You can use this view to verify that all stack resources have been removed from your account. This view shows stacks that have failed during deployment. This could indicate an issue with the stack template or with your account configuration. Finally, this view shows stacks that have completed deployment successfully. Notice that some stacks in the list are labeled nested. These are stacks that were created as part of other stacks. You can use this toggle switch to exclude nested stacks and show only root stacks. You can select a stack and perform certain actions on it. For instance, you can enable termination protection for your business critical stacks to prevent them from being deleted accidentally. You can also perform other advanced tasks, such as managing drift, creating change sets, and importing resources into a stack. When you are ready to begin deploying resources using CloudFormation, you can create a new stack. In this case, let's create a stack with new resources. The first step is to specify which template to use. You can specify an existing CloudFormation template by providing an S3 URL, or you can upload a template file manually. In this case, we'll upload a sample template. Let's select a simple LAMP stack template. Step 2 is to specify stack details. First, enter a stack name. Depending on the stack configuration, you might also need to provide custom parameter values that are used during stack deployment. In this example, passwords and a username are needed for the MySQL database resource in the stack. An existing key pair is also required to enable Secure Shell or SSH access to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instance. Once you have provided the required stack details, proceed to the next step. In step 3, you can configure additional stack options, such as tags, permissions, and advanced options. For the purposes of this example, let's leave everything as is and proceed to step 4. This screen allows you to review the entire stack configuration and make edits before you create it. When you're ready, click the button to create the stack. Once the deployment has initiated, a screen for the new stack appears. In the Events Detail pane, you can track the status of operations as the stack is created. In the Stacks pane to the left, you can quickly switch between details for other stacks without having to navigate back to the main stack screen. To better view the stack details, you can collapse the CloudFormation navigation pane. Notice that there are new events available. Let's refresh the view to see them. The top event shown here indicates that the stack deployment is now complete. In many of the stack detail panes, you can customize which columns are visible. Click the gear icon to specify your preferences. Let's show the type column. 
Now you can see the AWS resource type associated with each event. Next, let's quickly review some of the other detail panes available for a stack. Stack Info displays general information about the stack and its configuration. Resources displays the resources that are part of the stack. Outputs displays outputs that were declared in the stack's template. For example, here we see an output for the URL of a website that was deployed as part of the stack. Parameters displays the stack's parameters and their values. Template displays the stack's template, allowing you to review the code that was used to create the stack. Next, let's look at stack sets. AWS CloudFormation Stack Sets extends the functionality of stacks by enabling you to create, update, or delete stacks across multiple accounts and regions with a single operation. With stack sets, you can easily scale out your CloudFormation deployments throughout an AWS organization. You can view stack sets information just like you can for a single stack. For example, the Stack Set Info Detail pane displays general information about the stack set and its configuration. Stack Instances displays all the AWS accounts and regions this stack set has been deployed to. Operations displays the results of any operations you have performed, such as creating, updating, or deleting the stack set. Parameters displays the stack set's parameters and their values. Template displays the template for the stack set, allowing you to review the code that was used to create this stack set. Next, let's navigate to the Exports screen. To share information between stacks, you can export a stack's output values. Other stacks that are in the same AWS account and region can import the exported values. For example, you might have a single networking stack that exports the IDs of a subnet and security group for public web users. To help improve the CloudFormation service, you can leave feedback at any time. We value your input. You've just seen how to simplify your infrastructure management using AWS CloudFormation. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.